In Europe, currently more than 25 million people are looking for a job, with unemployment among young people standing at nearly 6 million. To help combat this, the European Union is committed to reaching an unemployment level of 75% of its workforce by 2020. With the conference and agenda for new skills and jobs, the Committee of the Regions brings these issues to the forefront. Organised in collaboration with the Irish EU Presidency, the event is the second in a series of seven conferences that assesses the implementation of the Europe 2020 flagship initiatives at a local and regional level. The event, which gathered around 200 policymakers and senior experts from national, regional and local public administrations, as well as employment specialists from academia, networks and associations, focused on the reform of the labour market, the increase of skill levels, job growth and job quality. They discussed how local and regional authorities can improve education and respond to a need for more flexible careers and exchanged experience and good practices in training and employment strategies. Shortly after, EU member states approved a new Youth Guarantee, which offers assurance that no young person will be left without employment, training or education for more than four months. Committee of the Regions President Luis Valcasel stressed the importance of engaging local and regional authorities in its implementation as most of the competences in education and training are found at that level. We regional politicians must do our best so that young people can develop true entrepreneurial skills. Besides, we should remember that regional and local authorities are best placed to implement the youth guarantee launched by the Commission in order to tackle unemployment among the youth. Mercedes Bresso, the Committee of the Region's first Vice President, also emphasised the importance of EU policy as being a driver for growth and the importance of the assistance from local and regional authorities. The contribution of regional and local authorities is an essential precondition, especially nowadays, to make the Euro 2020 objectives a reality. Other key speakers included Dublin Lord Mayor Nisha Umuri who showed examples of how EU investment has contributed to fighting unemployment in his city, Irish Minister for the Environment, Community and Local Government Phil Hogan, and European Commissioner for Research, Innovation and Science Mayor Gogan Quinn, who stressed the important role played by research and innovation in job creation. Cohesion funding should build research and innovation capacities based on smart specialisation strategies and provide a stairway to excellence from which researchers and innovators can successfully step into Horizon 2020.